Hey guys, it's Bieber. So I was looking for a the interview that the mom did with um, Fox 26. And I came across something that came out last night. It is a community's activist, Quanell. And um, funny little bit of information, the night before, which if the baby was reported missing in the morning, then, I mean, this is relative within, I'd say, 10 hours maybe. But these two, mom and boyfriend, were at a convenience store, no baby, in the middle of the night. He point blank says out of his mouth, the child was at home by herself. So, you know what? I don't know. This is getting to be pretty damn ridiculous. And uh, it's indefendable at this point. It's really indefendable at this point. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying there's not a loss. I'm not saying they're not grieving. But I'm. I am saying shit is not adding up. And also in this video, you're gonna see the activist, which I think is great, and uh, also the mother. And she says the baby was on an orange float. I somehow missed this initially in uh, covering this story. But here it is, and um, I just played the whole interview in its entirety because it cuts in and out from the mom to the reporter. But nonetheless, there's some nuggets of information in there. Y'all take a look. Tell me what you think. And um, my God, prayers for this baby. And, you know, we bring justice. Prayers for justice and prayers for this sick world we're all suffering together in. And we just got to hold each other up, man. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. Every single, we have so many child issues right now. I, I, you can't even begin to imagine all the issues around children right now. Neglectful parents to kids being taken to parents, you know, harming their own children to DCS or DCFS being called and nothing happening. And the children wind up, you know, passing away at the hands of people taking care of them. Uh, those are just a couple, you know, that's not even the over-sexualization of children or any of the other shit that's going on right now. And I'm sorry for the language, but man, this stuff is gets old. It gets so old. I'm so sick of seeing this. If you're going to be a parent, pull your head out of your ass and be a parent. You stop being so selfish. Anyways, guys, I'm sorry for the little rant, but man, this has got to stop. We got to do better. Please enjoy the video. Well, don't enjoy it, but at least pull the nuggets of information from it. Pray for this baby that we get justice <clears throat> for her family members that are grieving. You know, we pray for them. And, um... Here's the rest of the video. Y'all have a good one. We are definitely going to be seeking justice for Miss Malia Bass. Look at that precious baby. Tell me y'all's thoughts. You know, what do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. So when I went over there and I um, saw the apartment, talked with neighbors, um, learned a few things. Um, also learned that on the day that uh, the baby came up missing, that they were here at the store uh, after late, late in the night, and that the baby was at home by itself. After speaking with Malia Bass's mom and boyfriend, Quanell X says she was shocked to learn the truth unravel about the two-year-old girl who's been missing since Saturday. So that's, that's, that's a serious issue, that the baby was not here with them late that night before they made the 911 call about the baby being abducted. More responsible parenting could have easily prevented this. On Sunday morning, a jogger reportedly spotted a toddler's body along Bray's Bayou, just a few miles away from Malia's home. On their front doorstep, neighbors are already piling up soft toys and balloons to shower the two-year-old with the attention and love they say she always deserved. She is a sweet little girl. Like, she, her smile is big. She beautiful. She a happy baby. These people, if they didn't want that baby, call the daddy in Dallas, come get your child. Take it to the fire station. Neighbors who spent all Saturday helping search for Malia's whereabouts say they're skeptical of her mom's story. Too fishy because they keep switching stories. Come correct. Tell us what y'all did to this little girl because this 
You know what this sound like? Malia Davis. Last year, y'all remember, huh? I'm alive. I'm drained. I've been looking for her for 24 hours. Saturday morning, the mother of Malia Bass says the two-year-old was playing at their apartment complex playground as she watched from their window. She says she looked away and suddenly her daughter was gone. This is really just devastating to me. Who could be watching my baby to even snatch her from the park? within just like that. Sahara Irvin says she called police right away. An Amber Alert went out overnight. Houston police, K-9 teams, and Equisearch all enlisted to find her little girl. Sunday morning, after a jogger's discovery, a small body was pulled from the bayou shortly after 11 a.m., 18 miles from where Malia disappeared. They should have took me. They should have took me. They should have took me. <laughs> They <laughs> found my baby on an orange float. <laughs> They're floating down the bayou. HPD won't confirm if it's the missing girl, but officers are preparing for a murder investigation and say the family should prepare for the worst. Based on uh, reported missing children in this city, uh, we believe that although we can't confirm it's her, there's a high probability it will be her. The bayou runs within a mile of Malia's home. The family trying to sort out how their little girl, nicknamed Tootie, could have ended up here. So I work with my baby every day on what colors, a one, two, threes, ABCs. What's your name, Will? <laughs> I tell her, I say, where's the house? We can walk to the store, I ask her, where's the house? Just so she can know. Where's the house? The mother says they are waiting on autopsy results, but are already preparing to make funeral plans. In her grief, leaving a word of advice for other parents. Do not leave your kid unattended, no matter how, how long you think or if she's going to be okay. Don't do it. It's the cruel ass people out here in this world. It's some horrible people. Horrible. About nobody but they self. Watch y'all kids. Lock y'all doors.